Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we saw the day of Lavos and we died horribly. Today we have three different areas to go to. We have over here, present day, this is future, and this is like um, well, 65 million years in the past. I was going to say 1 million, but yeah, it's a hell of a lot more than that. Anyway, let's go back there and see this new time period. Ah! And fall to our doom. Okay. You know what? Last time as we were fighting Lavos, we were learning various dual techs and things like that. But because, you know, we died, they didn't stick with us. So first things first, I just want to start learning some of those dual techs um, that we got. Especially Antipode with the girls. So let's go ahead and throw them into our party. Ooh, we get another Berserker. Now we have two of those. <laughs> Yikes. If you recall, the Berserker... Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, no! We got a pincer attack! Yeah, those, those guys will uh, gang up on us here. Um, but if you recall, the Berserker basically makes you go berserk, and it really increases your, um, your attack power. But what I want to do against this huge group of monsters is use our mighty Hypno Wave with Luca. I did say that this was going to come in handy, and... Uh, it didn't in the future, but look at this. We got all these guys put to sleep. This is great. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and use an ice on these guys down here as well. Yeah, get some nice damage here. So, provoke from Marl confuses one enemy. And it hardly ever works. Hypno Wave puts every single enemy to sleep. But like I said before, actually, let's have the girls. Um, actually, let's have Marl attack this one down here. You might be able to just kill it. And can you kill it? Oh, well, you got close enough. Okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's use a fire whirl on these guys there. Yeah, hit all four of them. So as I was trying to say, the Hypno Wave. Not that great in the future because, you know, they're all robots and you can't put a robot to sleep. Robots don't sleep. So, yeah. Um... Marl, go after this guy down here. Let's wait for Luca to get her turn. Actually, you know what? I bet you I can probably just kill these guys off with a Cyclone, now that I think about it. We got them hurt enough with the Fire Whirl. Wow, it's like double damage with the Fire Whirl. Man, not all that much with the Cyclone. But anyway, we got them. Whoa! Yeah, we got that dual tech antipode with the girls there. Very nice to have. And, yeah, um, we were told to go to present day. You're not really supposed to be here right now, but, eh, whatever. I want to come. I want to check it out. I want to see what there is to see. Oh, man, I barely made it through there, but I got it. Perfect. Also, a couple of other things. We got a ton of tech points. We got 12 tech points, and we got some materials here that you can only get in the past, the pedal and the horn. That will come in handy much later on in the game. So let's look around. A oh, forest maze. Can we go anywhere in here? Can we do anything? Hmm. Yeah, this must be a maze because we can't get through here. So let's not worry about that. Oh, this must be the little village. Uh-oh. Yikes. I'm not a reptile. Oh, I'm warm-blooded. I'm a mammal. Sure. Woohoo! Yeah, so you get free healing here in the past. That's really nice. Hey there. Oh, they're called clothes, but I guess they were animal skins back back in this time period. Is there, like, I feel like I was supposed to be able to move there, but there was something blocking my way. A pretty red stone. Huh. Also, I just think that this is really cool. Over here, this is like a little lookout hut, you know, if like the Repetites attack. We have huge, massive volcanoes over on this side. Yeah, this is just really nice area. I think it's very well done, this little village right here. You must be the chief. Oh, you're not the chief. You're just some old guy, because the chief isn't here. Thunder stuns all dinosaurs. Okay. A rare monster appears during the rain. Huh. Well, thanks for the information. And here you can just buy regular B 
basic, basic items, but I don't need any of that, nor do I want it. Um, we'll just continue right along. This is the chief's hut, but no one's here. Where is this chief? And that one guy was saying, hey, you know, we'll trade with you, but they needed the chief's permission, but the chief isn't there. Oh, so whoever has the biggest muscles becomes the chief, whether you're a man, woman, or a child. Oh, huh. There's another clan here, the Laruba clan, and they're hiding away in the northern woods. And they hide from the reptites, but we fight them, apparently. Oh, yikes. Wow, Kino, you're mean. Mm. Really? Huh. So the Relu Lar Laruba clan, I can't talk today, is able to fly and summon these reptites and fly on them, and they still hide away. These guys who fight can't summon them or anything. Oh, here's that hunting range that they were talking about, where apparently there's a rare monster if you fight. Also, see that little froggy guy right there? Well, let's actually fight it. Um, remember how I said that there was a different form of Speccio? Yeah, they would look like these little frogs there. Um, let's go ahead and we'll use another uh, Fire Whirl on these guys. And Robo, we'll use your Laser Spin on them. We get some multi-damaging, multi-targeting damage here. Awesome. Or just take them out that way. Got some fangs and some horns and some feathers. And we learned our dual tech fire punch. Nice. So that should be all of Luca's dual techs that we have going on here. So let's take her out of the party, bring in Marl. And continue looking around, seeing what there is to see. We can actually climb these vines here in the hunting grounds as well. It's kind of cool. I like it. But what you want to kind of do is just kind of hang out, and I want to see about this uh, rare monster as well. Let's see if we can't, you know, make it rain. You kind of kind of have to wait for it to rain, so let's just chill. Okay, so it's raining. Nothing's really happening over here in this corner. God, it's hard for me to see. It's Okay, there's that rare monster. Let's see if we can't grab him. Before fighting him, though, let me change up my accessories, and we're going to put you on the Berserker. And put Robo on the Berserker as well. There we are. That will increase their attack power and make it so that we can just wail on this guy. And what do we have here? The new! New enemy. New is life. New is love. Marl is the only one who I can really control during this battle, and she's just gonna chill. Because the new, yeah, will either attack you for all of your HP except for one, or it will attack you for 1 HP. So as long as you keep your HP above 1, you'll be fine. And I'm just going to let Chrono and uh, Robo deal all the damage. And... Okay. Okay, yeah, so go ahead and heal up Robo. We'll be fine. So the new... It does take quite a bit of time to take him out. That's why I went ahead and gave the Berserkers, because like I said before... You're not really supposed to be here right now. The game opens up to you and says, hey, you can come. But not really. Well, 30 tech points! Whoa! Yeah, this is a fantastic grinding spot. Oh. Woo! And we get three of each of all of the uh, various things. And if I can get you. Yeah. So then if you track them down and then you hit the A button, we get a third eye. A really nice accessory to have this early on in the game. Let's see what that thing does. Third eye. It takes your evasion and it times it by two. It is insane. So if you want to spend some time hanging out here, uh, looking for the new, the new can appear over here. The new can appear over in this corner on the upper ledge right there. And then the new can also appear way over here in the northeastern corner. I wonder if I can go through here. You know what? Oh, you know what, actually, oh, where's the new, where's the new? Okay, so the new isn't appearing down over there. Let's see if I can't get him to appear on this side. Once you get it to rain once, it seems to rain pretty often. <laughs> yeah, get another new. Fantastic. I love it. Yeah, so this happens every single time that you fight this new. It's really easy. You cannot get another third eye from him, though. So once you get your one third eye, that's it. 
you're done. Looks like there's another enemy wandering around over here, so let's take off these berserkers. Uh, what did I have? I need the speed belt, I think. Robo, I believe, had the rage band. And Marl, yeah, you have the bandana, that's perfectly fine. And let's go ahead and heal us up, because yeah, fighting that new, it does take quite a bit out of you, but that's fine. Okay. Now let's see what we got here. Yeah, remember these guys from the future? It's the same sort of deal here, so let's go ahead and we gotta attack them with magic. Um, did I have a dual tech between Robo and Marl? Let's wait for Robo's target to come up. Oh, just this Aura Beam, which is a group heal, so let's not worry about that. We use Ice, and I guess we use a Laser Spin. That's all Robo really has right now. Wow, dealing a ton of damage to these guys. They're still not dying. Huh. I spoke too soon. Got rid of them easily enough. Okay. So, there are no other items to be found at the hunting range. This is pretty much just a grinding spot. You come here, you fight some news, you get a whole bunch of um, accessories and whatnot, and you move on with life. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's take out Robo for right now, and we'll bring in Luca. Because I just really like that Antipode spell. It's very nice. And here we have more um, mammals to deal with that we can put to sleep. Yeah, that sleep spell is so nice. Uh, you want to go against the cave ape as fast as humanly possible because these rocks, um, they will they will only aggro you if you aggro them. So, yeah, basically we're just going to be focused on one. Oh my god, the hypno wave, it must have aggroed them. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is horrible. Urgh. Yeah, maybe I'll bring Robo back in. Like, screw this. Oh, I was hoping to put them to sleep, but it didn't work, and then it aggroed them. My god. Ooh, ice. Ice is terrible against them as well. Marl, you suck. I am trying my best to try to have you, like, be halfway freaking decent, but you are just terrible. Man. Well, since these guys are aggroed anyway, let's see. Oh, you know what? I might have to put her on healing duty since, uh, yeah, once every time that you attack the cave ape, he likes to counterattack by throwing the rocks at you and dealing a shit ton of damage. Ooh, that's horrible, too. Okay, it looks like... Ooh, Luca, holy crap. Oh, man. Oh, good lord almighty. Yeah, this place is rough. <laughs> yeah, it's much better just get hit by these rather than um have the counter attack. So, okay. Um Oh god. Look at this. This is horrible. Um yeah, just go after this one. Uh you can aura chrono. No! Run away! Run away! Run run for your life, Marl! Run for your life! Good lord! I don't think that I've ever had to run before, but yeah, hold the L and R buttons just like in Final Fantasy IV, and you can run or you can die. That works too. That's just fantastic. Ugh. Yeah, lovely. See you in a minute. Let's try this again. Ugh. That was really bad. I had to go back to my previous save and everything. It was just a pain in the ass. Okay, so what you want to do is only attack the ape right now. And uh, Chrono, I guess you can go ahead and attack it as well. You want to do as few attacks to it as humanly possible. Well, only 66? And you don't want to aggro the freaking shists because they are terrible. They'll do that stupid, um... That thing on you, the little explosion thing. You know what, Chrono? You seem to be doing the most damage to this cave ape, so Chrono, you just, you know, keep at it. And we're gonna put Marl on healing duty for right now. You can heal up Chrono. And Luca, you can just chill. Because fire doesn't really seem to do all that much damage to these guys. And uh, I don't want to aggro the other ones. And I don't want to attack the cave ape just to attack it. Uh, one of her counter attacks every single move that you do to it. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and attack these guys one at a time. Once you aggro them, they'll 
I don't know, blow their top, and they'll be able to explode on you again, but they're not going to counterattack every single stupid thing that you do. So, yeah, just take them out one at a time, just like this. You do not want to die to this battle, like I did previously. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to die to this battle. Pahoho? ho, -ho. <laughs> Ho uh, ho ho. Okay. Whatever you say, game. Mount Paho ho? Like, what is that Paho ho? Like, I, I don't know ho. That's just that's so stupid. I don't know. That's just, oh my gosh. I don't think I ever really noticed that before. It's kind of funny what you notice in a Let's Play versus what you notice in a normal playthrough, especially whenever you're probably fast forwarding through this. Okay, here we have some dinosaurs. Eevee and Rexes. And remember, that one chick in the, um, in the village said that dinosaurs are weak to lightning. Let's go ahead and try out that theory. So we'll just go ahead and set it on, or I guess just bolt it to death. Um, let's see. We'll see if fire deals any decent damage here as well. Bam! Knock you upside the head. So normally, I didn't see the message here, but lightning should reduce a dinosaur's defense. So lightning is definitely the way to go against it, and it looks like fire actually deals some halfway decent damage too. So yeah, Luca as usual is pulling the weight, Marl's just kind of chilling, not really doing much here. But yeah, got rid of them. Much easier battle this time around than it was the first time around. Oh good lord, that was bad. Um, let's see. Like I said, you're not really supposed to be here right now. So try to keep your HP up as much as humanly possible. Get a mid ether, awesome. Oh god, more of these guys. Can I avoid this battle? Can I? Okay, thank you. So far, so good. Get a mid tonic, awesome. Oh, perfect. I do not like fighting them. They are bad. Oh god, this is gonna be rough. Slow and steady, definitely wins the race here. Make sure you're healing between every single battle. Um, if you need to bring in Robo for some more healing, do it. Here we get a Mesomail. Awesome. Let's see, is it any better than the Titan Fest? Whoa! From 67 to 87? Is this thing gender neutral? It is. Wow. That's really nice. Marl needs protection. Let's go ahead and stick it on her. Um, and move on with life. Good lord, that thing is great. That's like the best- Whoa! Reason to come here! So let's just continue right along. Maybe we can get a Dactyl and we can fly away. That'd be really cool. There's nothing here, though. Beautiful, gorgeous sunset and this thing sparkling over in the distance. What in the world is that? I don't know. But that's it for 65 million BC. Where are we going to be headed off to next time? Find out tomorrow. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.